Do not worry guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to play that exact thing in just a minute. But before that, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you some of my favorite harmonics tricks on bass. How to play them and my eight favorite shapes, you know, the super sexy ones that every bass player needs to know. Hey, it's Scott Ivani from scottsbasslessons.com helping you take your bass playing to the next level. And on this channel, we focus on one thing and one thing only. We do YouTube tutorials, we talk about gear, we create video essays focused on your favorite bass players and everything in between. So if you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button below. Oh, and a quick side note as well. If you're already a subscriber and you've been thinking about actually becoming a fully fledged member, we've got an insane special offer running right now over on the website, scottsbasslessons.com. You can grab a annual membership for crazy, you know, something like $3 a week or something like that. And it closes in a few days time. So if you've been thinking about joining, I've put a link in the description for you, but do not go anywhere yet. Let's first get into harmonics and then you can go check it out. Okay, so first up, let's look at how to actually play harmonics in the first place, because some people are doing this wrong. So when you play a harmonic, one of those little bad boys, when you're playing a harmonic, you're not actually pressing down the string onto the fretboard, right? The easiest ones to start out with are here on the 12th fret, the double dots. You just place your finger over the fret and then lift it off, okay? So the finger rests on the string, but doesn't push it down. It just rests on the string and then you play it and then you take your hand off and then Bob's your uncle, you've got this, you know, note, doing its thing, right? So, and you can do them at the ninth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, fourth fret, and then you've got these weird little in-between ones <laughs> here as well that we'll get into in this lesson. Pluck down at the bridge, around this, you know, the bridge pickup here, and also dial it onto that bridge pickup as well so you get a really nice tight sound. Now, let me show you all the super sexy harmonics that you can use, my favorite ones, and in context, how you can use them. So first of all, let's look at some of my favorite harmonics that you can play when playing an open E string, such as that kind of thing, right? In fact, let's take a look at Pino Palladino using that exact thing in context, and then I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. So that harmonic there is the harmonics on the fifth fret, okay? These ones and then the low E. So you've got a minor third and what I'm gonna do is I will talk in intervals instead of notes, okay? So in terms of the E, we've got a minor third, we've got a flat seven and we've got the 11th and then we've got the E, okay? So it gives you an E minor 11 kind of vibe, right? Cause we've got that minor third in. Now the next one is super simple because we just get that same shape and move it, boom, one fret back towards the nut on the fourth fret, okay? We've got, and this is one of my favorites because you can actually use it on a, on a major chord, an E major chord or an E minor chord. So for instance, if I was playing an E major run, so. I could use it there. Or if I was playing an E minor run, uh, it works as well. Now the next two we're gonna be looking at use C as the root note, okay? C, right here. And that is one of my favorites actually. It's just the fifth fret here, two notes, okay? This first one on the G string, which is the fifth of C and then this one here on the fifth fret of the D string, and it gives you, that's the ninth of C, and then you hit that uh, C root note there, okay? Now, because it's a, just a fifth and ninth, that means, again, we can use it, into, we can interchange that over major chords and minor chords if we're playing on a C major chord, okay, so. Yeah? 
if we were doing a minor chord, um, <laughs> okay, so you can use it on both. So in general, every time you hit that C, you can use that harmonic. Now, just as we did with the G, we took the fifth fret and moved it back. We're gonna do the same with the C. Just take it back, okay? And we're gonna play these two notes here and then give it a C bass note, okay? And that's on the fourth string, the fourth fret, should I say, of the G string and the D string. And that gives you that top note there is the major seven of a C major chord. And then that one there is a, ma a sharp 11, okay? So that gives you a major seven, sharp 11 sound. Very cool. So if you're playing something majory with a sharp 11, Now, whilst we're on that fourth fret, you can also play this note, this note, same on the fourth fret, and then give it a G root note underneath. And that gives you the major third of the G, the seventh of the G, and then the root note. And if you're feeling extra spicy, you can, you can put this note, which is the fourth fret of the A string as well. And it gives you a G major seven sharp 11 sound. Now another favorite of mine on a G is actually on the seventh fret here, all three strings, the G, the D, and the A string with that G. Oh, so nice. It's like a warm hug, isn't it? Just check it out again. Ooh. The, the notes of that, or the intervals of G is a fifth, a ninth, and a thirteenth. Now, just three more, and then I'm gonna show you that fancy chord that Jacko played right at the top of this video. Now, if we've got an A flat root note, the two harmonics I like to use are this, these two here. Oh, it's really, really nice, right? So on the top there, that top one on the fifth fret of the G string, that is a major seventh, and then right below it, on the D string at fifth fret, we've got the sharp 11. So it gives you like a, like that major sharp 11 type of vibe, right? Now let's move up to the B flat. Okay, so we've got a B flat here. And again, we can use the fifth fret here and just play. Oh, and that's spicy as well, isn't it? Okay, so let's talk about these. The notes are the 13th, the third, and the major seven. 13th, third, and the major seven. So that's like a B flat major 13 sound. And then that shape there, just slide it up to the C, and then, oh, and then we've got like a C6-9 sound. So we've got like a, a ninth on top, followed by a, a sixth, and then we've got the, the third there as well, okay? And that's the same shape, okay? So it's that for the C, and then we take it down. So C, should I say, on the set, that seventh fret with a finger, and then C on the eighth. Then we move that down for the B flat. Ooh. Then we move it down here for the A flat. And then we move it down here for the G and give ourselves a warm hug. <laughs> now, earlier in this video, I told you that I was gonna teach you that sexy harmonic there that Jacko played at the top of this video. Now, a lot of people play this wrong. They play it down here, actually, on the fourth fret and then hold that E flat there, but it's, it's actually wrong. The chord itself is an E flat seven sharp nine chord. This one here, the Jacko plays, and it's from the really famous tune, Portrait of Tracy. That thing there, okay. So let me just break down, not this little piece here, but let me break down this chord because it's super sexy. Ninth fret on the D string, and then ninth fret on the A string, but then you also play that G on top. So G on the 12th fret and then, so you have to kind of angle this finger a little bit because if I play this harmonic and put this finger down, if that finger is catching that string at all, it's not gonna work, okay? So you've got to angle it back like this. Okay, like that. And it's actually, you don't want this G to be overly loud compared with others, so there's actually a, you know, you've got to practice playing it to get the right mix of dynamics on each note. Super cool.
Now, if you've enjoyed the content in this video, make sure that you smash that like button below. And if you're looking to learn some really fantastic songs that include opportunities to actually play harmonics in context, because that's what we want to be doing, right? We want to be performing with these and adding them into our bass lines. You should absolutely check out the new system that we've just launched into scottsbasslessons.com. It's called Players Path, and it is the ultimate online performance-based learning system for bass players. It is the first of its kind and has taken us over two, year, two years to develop. And honestly, it's going to revolutionize online bass education and ultimately the way that you learn the bass. In a nutshell, online music education, in my opinion, has been broken for so long, with most online schools actually focusing on the amount of content that they give you and not the amount of results that they give you. Those two things are wildly different things. And that's why we've developed this specific system to give you the ability to learn without ever any overwhelm ever again. You'll always be able to see what to work on next. You'll be able to earn badges as you progress and you'll be able to go from complete beginner to full on professional level player all in one place all online. There are nine specific levels within the system from beginner to super advanced and in each level there are multiple song projects for you to learn, each that focus in on a specific technique and once you think you're ready to move to the next level you can actually take an assessment and earn your badge for that level. And I'm with you every step of the way, as in there's over 50 hours of video tutorials from me showing you how to learn and perform the song projects in the greatest of detail, right? So I'm basically like your personal bass tutor. Can you put up with me for that long? I'm not sure you can. Anyhow, as I said, this is now included within the membership at scottsbasslessons.com. It's already there, so if you're a member already, you've now got access to it. And if not, you're in luck because we've got a super duper duper special offer on right now and you can grab an annual membership that equates to less than three dollars a week i know that sounds completely nuts go check it out i'll put the link in the description below and you'll be able to see all of the details but it's only for the next few days so if you want to check out the system uh, player's path and check out the discount that you can grab the link is in the description now without further ado take it easy and as always i'll see you in the shed